to another video. Uh, today we are going to be installing a new intake manifold on the Sonic. Uh, this is going to be a uh, ported one from the ZZP Performance. Uh, I do know that I probably could have just done the porting on the existing one, but I figured let's start new and fresh and uh, you guys might know about those uh, PCV uh, valve problems. So it would be good to get a new uh, valve in there anyway. But today I'm going to be installing the new intake manifold and answering the question, is it worth it to get it? So without further ado, let's get into it. install part tomorrow. Um, but man, that was a doozy. That was a doozy. Um, all the videos online, uh, I don't, I honestly don't think any of them show it on a Sonic. Maybe they do, but um, much tighter on, on this car, just getting that out of there and everything disconnected. But uh, yes, yeah, so install tomorrow and it is tomorrow in three, two, one. Alright guys, it is day two install. Uh, hopefully we're going to knock this out quickly. Um, I already got the uh, little uh, connector on for the uh, boost gauge on there. Uh, I just put it into this um, little green um, tube here. Um, this also gets connected right here to the actual turbo. So that gives a good boost reading. And I got the sensor on there, so we are ready to put this in. So let's get to it. Install done. Uh, the, actually, installing it back was a lot faster than yesterday because I knew basically you know where everything went. So we just gotta get cleaned up and go test drive this thing. All right, guys, we're in the car. Let's do our test drive. And I just gotta get her warmed up first before we actually try to see if it's faster. Uh, ZZP says it will add 15 horsepower. Uh, so we'll see about that. Well, one thing that's already evident is my boost gauge is not working. So where I put it in this time, obviously was not the right spot. So something I'll have to fix down the road. Alright. 
I don't know. It's hard to say. I I feel like it's maybe a little bit smoother. I don't know. We'll see. That's uh. We'll see on this next round. 15 horsepower. I don't know if I, if it might be able to fit. Maybe not. I don't know. seems faster. Uh, it's hard to record, obviously, and drive at the same time, so we'll see what I can do. But definitely seems faster. I'm a little disappointed about the turbo boost gauge not working. That sucks. But all right, let's see. Let's do another wrap pull. I'm going to put you guys in my seat. <laughs> oh yeah, it's faster, all right. Holy crap! <laughs> okay, yeah, I can feel it that time. Yeah, it's just like it opened up now. It's like it, it, that uh, that restrictive uh, thing that they did, man. Wow. All right, I'm uh, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. That it definitely goes. It's just like more. It's more. Ha! Okay, guys. Well, sorry for the potentially bad footage of actually me test driving it, but definitely faster. Definitely faster. I mean, uh, let me get the old one. So, I mean, there is uh, uh, basically a wall on each of these intake ports, and there's a casting flash uh, in the uh, throttle body where that's focused on. No, I'm not explaining this the best, but I mean, wow, that was restricted. I mean, the, the difference is very noticeable, definitely faster. And with that piece, I should be right around 200 horsepower, which. That's pretty exciting for not even, to, you know, upgrading the turbo or anything. Um, this car being at 200 horsepower, so originally starting at 138 stock at crank, which I think I'm at 200 wheel horsepower. We'll see. I've never dialed it, but I'd be interested to know. Um, but yeah, super exciting. Definitely worth it. Uh, you don't actually have to buy a new one. You can take yours off and you can get rid of those walls on there and that casting flash is like using like a Dremel. Um, so you don't have to spend any money besides uh, a little bit of time, you know, because uh, time is money. Um, but yeah, definitely worth it. I highly recommend. Um, the install was a terrible. Might be a little sore after though, um, but yeah, so very cool, easy thing to do that's, can you can actually do for free too, easy way to add 15 horsepower to your Chevy Sonic or your Cruze, whatever you got with the 1.4 liter, and yeah, that's awesome. Uh, but thanks for watching guys, um, please like and subscribe, helps me out a ton, see you next video.